Okay, it's been about an hour, about an hour and a half or so, and uh, it looks like it's finished. And so now uh, I'm returning back. Uh, this is part two of the Android install for the Mac OS. Uh, so I've got a little prompt here, and the prompt, being a little closer, says a package that depends on the uh, Android, uh, Android D. The DB has uh, been updated. Do you want to restart it? I'm going to say yes. So the, the ADB is a background process that runs, that uh, enables the Android uh, API to work, essentially. Uh, so what do we've got here? Uh, the log comes back and says that uh, 15 packages have been installed and it has uh, it's done loading the packages. Looks like the ABD daemon was restarted, uh, given our error message. Or I shouldn't say error message, it was sort of like a warning message, I guess. So I'm going to close the screen. And uh, now I'm actually done with the SDK manager. And if I look over to the right hand side over here, I see that I have installed, installed, installed now listed here. Uh, something is not compatible with the Mac. Oh, it looks like the Google TV add on. Well, I don't have a Google D D a TV device, so I'm not going to be developing on that, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I did not install any samples for the SDKs, it looks like. Uh, it's not a big deal, though. I can always install stuff later. You just come back to the screen and you decide what you're going to install. And you're going to see in a few minutes we can do this from Eclipse as well. So it looks, um, I didn't get any failures or anything on the status over here. It looks like everything is installed correctly. Uh, so I am just going to close this window and go back to my instructions. And so we were on step nine. We had downloaded the SDK and it finished. And we clicked on available packages and we updated stuff. Now we're going to download and install the Eclipse current version. Uh, the Eclipse is going to be the free IDE that we're going to use uh, that integrates really well with the Android packages and Android API. It actually creates an Android package uh, template for us, uh, which is really nice. And it kind of streamlines the entire development process, so I highly recommend using Eclipse. Some people like NetBeans, and I understand you can use the Android development environment from NetBeans, and I believe it is supported on a Mac and also on a Windows PC. But my uh, IDE of preference is Eclipse, so all of my examples are going to be using Eclipse. So I'm going to click on this uh, download uh, option here for Eclipse, and uh, it's going to bring up my Safari browser, and I'm going to see, lo and behold, Eclipse downloads. And uh, the current version at this time uh, is December 2011, looks like Indigo. Looks like the Indigo one. And of the options that are on the menu here, we want the first one. We want to download and install the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And I see we've got two versions here, the Mac OS X 32-bit and Mac OS X 64-bit. Um, I believe I'm on a 64-bit, uh, so I'm going to select that option. And uh, so I'm going to click on the uh, option here. And uh, it's going to tell me, uh, give, give me some sites, some mirror sites to download. Obviously, if you're on a 32-bit, select that one. If you are on a different uh, processor, or you're not on a Mac, you're doing this on a Windows machine, select that one. Um, I'm going to actually just come over here and click the um, FHTTP site on the bottom here, choose a mirror close to you, and I'm in the United States, so I'm going to hit this one right here. Uh, so now what's going on is it's downloading. Uh, I've got a new screen now to download uh, the Eclipse, and uh, Looks to be about 127 megabytes. It looks like about 32 minutes remaining. 33 minutes remaining. Uh, I'm not going to sit here for a half an hour and watch this go. Instead, what I'm going to do is pause the video now. And uh, this was a very short part two um, because uh, you know all I have to do is basically find the clips and download it. Start the download. Uh, start your download, and then come back for part three. And we'll go through the install of Eclipse after it downloads, and then we will continue from there. So go ahead, start your download, come back for part three, and then we'll continue with the installation.